Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, General Medicine Resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and if you are new here, the first thing that you need to do is click that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any amazing content from my channel. And by the way, what is the occasion today? Ah, uh, Doctor's Day. So I wish all the doctors and also the medical students who are the future doctors a very, very happy Doctor's Day. So this isn't a routine podcast like we start praising our doctors or the work we do or the professionalism or about the people, the society who throw stones at us even without knowing the struggles that we go through. All that has been already spoken, but as usually, no one really care about it. This is about our own self. Yes, a self-check on the younger generation doctors, the new modern ultra pro doctors of the decade. The question of the decade that we don't ask our own self is that, are we really on the right path of practicing the medicine? Or are we really being trained properly as a physician or surgeon treating the patients? That might raise a small doubt in your mind and you may start thinking about the questions that I asked. But trust me guys, what all I'm going to speak might provoke you, might inspire you, or you might be having your own self-doubt or it might open up your eyes but all that will stay for a day or so and again we'll be back to our normal mindset. That's why I'm asking you to keep an open mind to all the points that I'm going to talk because that is about us and about our future. On a daily basis we'll be talking about many innovations, discoveries, inventions and the heights we reach in medicine. Yeah. So many achievements, some path-breaking drugs, surgeries and investigations, what not. We have achieved a lot of greats in our generation and we are really proud of it. We have almost found mm, treatment to almost all the diseases, but all that is on the level of 100. Let's come back to the ground level, that is us. Let's see how we have evolved from medical students to doctors. Listen to this, this is very important. The evolution of doctors from 1980s to 2020. From 1960 to 1980. In this period of time, the only source for a medical student to learn is from the patient and also from the doctor that is treating the patient. Yes, there are books. This is the time when the literature in medicine is going at a rapid speed but the availability of books is very minimal and if a student wants to read a book they need to travel a kilometers away library and that's when they can study but that's the reason why they used to run behind the professors to suck all the knowledge that they have and practice clinical medicine with quality even though they don't have all the sophisticated investigations or the machines they followed the traditional clinical methodologies in treating a patient 1992 2010 this is the time where a lot of changes are happening in the world and also in the medicine. There are a number of books that are coming up in order to refer for the medicine. There are new protocols and management methodologies have been coming up for each diseases. That's how the learning arc has been increasing. Slowly and slowly students started getting habituated to learn from the books and also the professors are getting too busy with the patient load. So the teaching from professors is slowly being reduced during this particular period of time and students learning the clinical aspect has been reduced by 30% and we haven't noticed it because MBBS is a learning arc and they have learned it in one or the other way. Yes, from the private practitioner or by experience. So ultimately, whatever way it is, the benefit should be done to the patient in treating the disease and they have really succeeded in that. 2010 to 2020 and so on. This period of doctors are us. Let's see how we are evolving as doctors from medical students. We started to completely depend on books and we started to think that theoretical knowledge is everything. We started to neglect the clinical postings and we medical students have hundreds of reasons why we should not go to wards and learn clinically, but we can't give ourselves one reason why we should go to wards instead. And the enthusiasm in the medical students have been drastically reduced and we have accustomed to it. We normalize bunking clinical postings. We normalized that TV is everything, let's sit at home, study and pass and get a degree. We normalized that MBBS degree is like any other degree that we get outside. More than 70% of the medical students lack interest in learning medicine. They only want the simple ways, the simple books, the apps that spoon fed them. We are running behind the ranks. We are running behind the toxic educational culture in MBBS. We are just trying to find the easiest ways to pass MBBS and making our future tough. Yes, you heard it right. If MBBS is all about just learning to pass and get a degree, 
then there won't be the great and legendary doctors that exist today. If you remember, our grandparents used to talk about the doctors who used to treat the patient just by checking the pulse or by blood pressure or temperature or by looking into the eyes with the clinical sense that they have studied. But now, more than 55% of the medical students in medical college don't know how to check blood pressure or what is the importance of pulse as a clinical sign. One thing is very clear, few students are not at all interested in learning medicine, but few students are really interested but are shy or in fear of asking the professors. You see, if you observe your parents would be talking uh, such a negative way uh, regarding doctors that they say that they are money-minded people, they don't know anything, they have poor knowledge, they only uh, depend on the test, they keep on writing that test or this test. In their mind, our value has already dropped. But let's not completely blame them for that. Let's ask ourselves, are we getting the proper education that is needed in MBBS? Are we getting the proper training that we have to get it? Are your professors teaching you the way it should be? Hmm, new question, right? Let's look into this in another perspective. It's not always the fault of the students, sometimes it's the fault of the professors as well. Tell me how many of your medical colleges have a bunch of professors who are teaching students in a clinical way. Yes, many students have a complaint that the professors are teaching with the PPT. And that is the reason that why they have lost interest in classes and they are just going to classes for attendance. True, when great teachers are faded away, so are the great students. All these might look very harsh for you, but there is no shame in knowing the facts. There is no shame in not knowing how to check BP or diagnosing a case because you can always learn at any point and that point will come only if you start having enthusiasm in learning medicine. If you have courage to ask your professors to teach them clinically, go behind them, go ask them to teach the right way. I think this is the time that we need to realize that the health system is being ruined by us as well. And this is the time that we need to change our approach in learning medicine. This is not about just passing the exam. This is not about getting a degree. This is about learning the skill. This is about acquiring the knowledge. This is about saving a life. And this is about our future. If this kind of toxic education system continues in MBBS, then trust me, our non-medical friends will look at as quacks. Every one of you ask yourself all the questions that I ask you. I ask myself, and I'm left with many questions unanswered. I think this is the time that we need to look into things in a different perspective and that is the right. And one final thing that I wanted to ask you all is that, are we really celebrating this doctor's day like any other festival because we have to do? Or are we really our satisfied doctors or medical students celebrating a special day for us? Because at the end of the day, the only satisfaction that you get is by treating a patient and getting him better. If you are not getting satisfied the way you are learning medicine, then definitely MBBS has lost its value in your life. So that's it. All these things are just my opinions, maybe right or maybe wrong, but you need to know few facts for life. And if you have any different perspectives or opinions, or if you have anything to say, please let me know in the comments down. And if you love this video, please let me know by liking this video, sharing this video, and also subscribing to our channel, Dr. JTM. And with all the love, until next time.